1943 P. Jefferson Nickel. Graded as MS-68 full steps by PCGS. PCGS has certified more than 80,000 of the silver alloy wartime nickels that were issued between 1942 and 1945, yet just 68 submissions of all issues and varieties have earned the MS-68 numerical grade, 4 are MS-68+, and none are numerically finer. This impressive superb gem features a bold strike throughout, brilliant and frosty silver-gray color, and lovely gold and iridescent toning. It was sold for $7,500 on November 16, 2023. Number 6. This is 1955 Lincoln Scent with Double Dye Obverse. Graded in Mint State 63 Brown by PCGS and proven by CAC. The 1955 Double Dye has long been a staple of the Lincoln Scent series and an iconic 20th century mint error. An entire generation of collectors owes much of their love for numismatics to endless days as a youngster searching pocket change for this elusive and dramatic mint anomaly. Examples are usually available today, even in mint state, but accessible pieces in the brown color category seldom have good eye appeal. This piece bucks that trend. Each side displays luminous, original satin luster and a bold strike. There is a distinct lack of abrasions, and only a few flecks are noted on the reverse. It was sold for $5,160. Number 5. 1924 S. Buffalo Nickel. Graded as MS-65 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, with its comparatively low mintage of 1,437,000 pieces and poor survival rate in mint state, the 1924S nickel is an established semi-key date, particularly in higher grades, that is sometimes a target of counterfeiting and alteration. Though the piece offered here is unquestionably genuine, it is not hard to imagine a grader looking at the edge suspiciously, since the overall appearance is closer to a Philadelphia release than a San Francisco emission dot while the obverse clearly exhibits above average detail. It is the reverse that drives home the point, the bison's head is practically complete, and the horn is bold, a rarity even on mint state examples. This one was sold for $11,100. Number 4. This is 1928s Lincoln sent in MS-65 red condition. A delightful gem red example of this San Francisco issue, struck from a remarkably early die state with none of the distracting metal flow typically seen on branch mint issues from this era. The O in 1 is slightly soft, but the coin is otherwise well struck, and no obtrusive spots are evident. Housed in a green label holder it ended up selling for $18,600. Number 3. This is 1953S Jefferson Nickel in MS-66 condition with full steps. The 1953S is one of the strike rarities in the Jefferson Nickel series, posing a challenge for registry collectors focused on full steps coins. PCGS reported just two specimens in MS-66 with FS designation. This particular piece displays satiny luster with a hint of light champagne toning. Moderate dye erosion is apparent on each side, causing metal flow lining in the margins, but the steps of Monticello are sharply defined. It ended up selling for $16,800. Number 2. This is 1961 D. Washington Quarter in MS-67 plus condition. Undoubtedly from an original mint set, this originally and attractively toned Washington Quarter displays the most vivid shades of emerald, orange and gold, particularly on the obverse. The surfaces are delightfully smooth and the luster is nothing short of intense. Although available in an absolute sense, late-date 90% silver Washington Quarter issues such as the 1961D are surprisingly rare in the finest mint state grades, as here. It was sold for $24,000. Number 1. 1909 VDB sent in Prairie 67 plus red condition. Another CAC proven super rare gem. The 1909 VDB Lincoln sent is indeed a notable and historically significant coin in the Lincoln sent series. It was the first year of issue for the Lincoln sent, replacing the Indian head sent, and it featured a portrait of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse. The initials VDB stand for the coin's designer, Victor David Brenner, and they appear on the reverse of the coin at the bottom dot in the initial minting of the 1909 VDB sent for circulation, the designer's initials were quite prominent. However, public sentiment at the time led to concerns that Brenner's initials were too conspicuous, which could be seen as an act of vanity. As a result, the mint quickly modified the design to reduce the size of the initials dot while the 1909 VDB Lincoln sent is not considered extremely rare, its proof version is more limited in numbers compared to the regular circulation strikes. 
This superb gem ended up selling for $194,062.50 with buyer's fee. Hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more captivating content about rare coins, fascinating stories, and timeless treasures. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with fellow coin enthusiasts.